Hey guys, David here and welcome to another video. You can see that I have my laser cutter here on the table and you can also see an air compressor here and now I already did a video all about how I built this thing and the 10 watt endurance laser that I'm using currently in there. But uh, this of course is not uh, just a laser, it's uh, also a 3D printer, it's a CR10 that I've converted and the idea was that I could use it for 3D printing and also for lasering. I have a nice quick release system that I could easily change out the hot ends. But as it turns out, I never actually used this uh, for 3D printing anymore since I installed the laser on there. Since I do have other 3D printers, I now have a machine even that is very similar as the CR10 and also has a big build area. So I don't really need the 3D printing functionality anymore. Um, there are also some other things that I originally uh, made when I built this uh, thing that I now realized are not ideal. So in this video I'm gonna revamp my laser setup. I'm gonna uh, completely remove all the three printing parts of the CR10 and just make it a laser cutter. I'm also gonna use this uh, like uh, airbrushing compressor for the air assist and com completely redo the air assist. Uh, since there were some major design flaws that I only later discovered in my old design. Now all of this is uh, in preparation for uh, the comparison between the 10 watt and the 10 watt plus endurance laser. I have the, both of them here in the studio right now and I will do, do a detailed uh, comparison and review of that uh, coming up. But for now let's first uh, get the laser like motion system set up proper. I also want to give a big thanks to Endurance Lasers for sponsoring this video. Uh, they make the 10 watt Endurance Laser that is in here and they also have a whole bunch of other wattages and uh, beautiful laser products that you can go check out at the link below. So the first step in this process is going to be to just kind of tear the whole thing down and disassemble some of the things that I want to change. So let's cue a montage for that. So you guys can see that I just kind of took everything apart. Uh, just kind of on a whiff, I decided to basically redo the whole thing and uh, go even further than I was actually planning to. So I moved all the electronics from down here. I removed all of them. and I'm gonna actually shorten the Z axis here since there's no need for it to be this tall with it only being a laser cutter now and then I'm gonna mount all the electronics on top which is gonna give me more easy access to stuff like the control box and switches and uh, maybe even uh, touch screen and stuff like that. So the next step then is gonna be to uh, cut off uh, a part of this upper frame and I'm also gonna have to cut the lead screw at the back and uh, just kind of move the top bar uh, down a little bit, probably about to about half of what it was. I also noticed that uh, from just the small cutting in here, a lot of stuff got really, really dirty. And um, like the most extreme example is the cutting table. Uh, this used to be silver and not brown to black. and. It is really quite disgusting and I'm, I don't really know how to clean it. Uh, I'll have to try much, uh, so I'll try if maybe water or alcohol works to clean this stuff up.
All right, so as you can see, I've made quite a bit of progress. The CR10 is now quite a bit shorter. I cut off 25 centimeters, which just gives me a lot more headroom. Then I put in this uh, divider piece here to put the electronics on top uh, after I uh, cut down the enclosure by just the bottom part. Um, the door is still the same, uh, still works, uh, it's still crooked. Uh, if you, I push against here, I can get it to line up, but it's probably gonna end up cricket in the end again, sadly, but uh, nothing I can do about that. Um, but I just like uh, put some of the electronics on top right now, how they're gonna be later. I'm gonna put like a uh, cover here so that the front is nicely closed off. And if we look down here, uh, I just basically bolted the laser to the like baseboard with some brackets that I 3d printed and then I used angle aluminum to uh, mount the enclosure solid to the base uh, before I was like just like hanging on there to be uh, like uh, vibration dampening but that wasn't really necessary and this way it is a lot more sturdy so that's what I went with this time so now I just gotta mount all the electronics uh, get everything hooked up and then I'm pretty much done. Alright, so here you can see the laser mostly completed. Uh, I have a, my tablet here on the top. I was gonna try to do something else, but it's just the easiest way to have it uh, connected to the Octoprint that is running on uh, the Raspberry Pi in there. Um, you can also see that I added some lights so you can nicely see inside now. And this is when it is open and let me just quickly close it so you see how that looks. And this is the close view of it. Uh, looks quite good. You can see everything very clearly inside. And that's gonna also going to make uh, filming when I'm laser cutting a lot easier. If you don't have to shine lights to it from the outside. But let's take a little bit of a closer look inside. So here you can see that uh, the Z-axis is now a lot shorter than uh, how it was before. And right now the laser is focused right on the top of the table and you can see I still have quite a lot of headroom. So even if I want to engrave on something that is a little bit thicker, I still can do that without any issues. You can also see that I uh, have a new kind of air assist installed here. And I just borrowed that from the 10 watt plus endurance laser that I'm gonna test in a short while, but it would be very simple to do something like this uh, yourself as well. It's just like, just the air hose coming down and at the very tip, there's a 0.2 millimeter 3D printer nozzle, which is just gonna increase the pressure a lot since it's a very, very fine nozzle. And the way I'm supplying air to this is that right now, uh, down uh, on the floor, I have the, this hobby air compressor, which is actually really quiet. Uh, and that, that way I can have enough air for this uh, to work nicely. Now I want to quickly take a look at my old air assist here. And while the idea behind it was great to focus the air really right on the cutting and that was really good, that part behind it. And if I put a lot of air into it, there would also be a, uh, a decent amount coming out and really blowing all the smoke right out of the cutting edge. The only problem is that with a design like this, I had to make an opening, of course, for the laser to fit in. And 
this does not seal at all uh, and on the laser itself and that way most of the air was actually escaping up here and not down in the bottom and once I used the air compressor for my CNC as well, uh, I had it across the room and with the, the long hose that I had to use, the pressure drop and like the, the loss of this, uh, the air that was just coming out of the end was just not enough anymore. And with just a modeling air compressor, uh, it would not be nearly enough. So that's why I decided to ditch this uh, style of air assist and go with uh, kind of a nozzle directing air onto the cut from the side which is not like as directed down into the cut but it gives me a lot more pressure that i can work with with my tablet here on top uh, i have the touch ui plugin installed on octoprint and i can easily move the laser around with uh, all these buttons here move it up and down everything that I need to do and that is just really convenient having a big touch screen to work on that and if I go over to the files tab here I can just select which file I want to print and click on the print icon and then it's gonna cut on the laser and I get a nice overview here but if we now take away this and open up the panel here which is just a very simple uh, uh, old piece that is laying on here we can take a look inside at the electronics and this is like the big thing also with this conversion is that it's super easy to access the electronics now up here and if I want to do testing of any sort I can very easily just do that in here so here you can see the electronics uh, we've got the printer controller board here where I have all the stepper motors plugged into there's the power supply in the back and this here is the laser control box and uh, that's also here where, where the new one is going to go for the 10 watt plus and here i just have a raspberry pi and i was going to just have a like, touchscreen lcd shield on here and use octoprint on that if you want to control the laser like at the laser but uh, while i was researching on how to do it properly i found out that especially on the older raspberry pi that i'm using here it just does not have enough power to uh, work octoprint but and also displayed on the screen so I ditched this and just went with the tablet. Here you can also see the air hose. Uh, this black uh, hose is where it's coming in from the air compressor and I'm just using a 3D printer coupling here uh, into this very flexible uh, clear tubing uh, that is going down to the air assist itself. Right now I want to just quickly showcase uh, the noise level of the air compressor and like the air that is coming out. So I'm going to turn on the compressor right now. And you can probably tell that while you can almost not hear the air compressor at all, uh, the air here is quite loud. If I put my finger on top of it, it's not quite as loud as if it's uh, blowing onto it here. But there really is quite a lot of velocity uh, in the air that is coming out here. Uh, it's denting my finger quite a bit and I have no doubt that this is going to be very good for uh, getting all the smoke out of the cut. So now the air compressor is running down here, it's blowing air out here, uh, the like printer electronics are running and as you can hear or not hear, uh, I can still normally talk and you can understand me. Of course there is some noise and that is to be expected, but compared to uh, the air compressor that I was using before, which is around like over 95 decibel, uh, this is a lot quieter and I think this setup is going to be really nice. And so with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out Endurance Laser linked down in the description as well. If you want to get more updates on what I'm up to, you can check out my Instagram, also linked down below. And with that, thanks for watching and until next time.